Lounge and Grill, Envy, Florentine's Downtown Grill, Heroes Bar and Grill, Joe's Karma Kebab, Lomeli's Italian Restaurant, Matador Cantina, Monkey Business Cafe, Mulberry Street Restaurante, The Old Ship, Fans 55 Bistro and Bar, The Pint House, Revolution Mexican Grill and Cantina, Roscoe's Famous Deli, The Sidebar, Stadium Tavern, Summit House Restaurant, Tony Roma's Tranquil Tea Lounge, Yogurt Land, and Zling's Bistro and Bar, plus many more. Find out all about it at FullertonRW.com. To join the circus, gonna be a broken hearted clown. Paint my face with a good for nothing smile, cause a mean, fickle woman turned my whole world upside down. Hey, Tomas, what do you have? What do you have at Jim, uh, uh, Jimmy Darren's? Uh, what else do you have that we're gonna play? With? Can I? This is my introduction to Jimmy Darren. Oh, but when wait, I was no. A kid, you know what I want? This guy want is such a album. hot singer, man. You want his, uh, yeah, this is standards. The, but this is the old stuff from when uh, you know. He, I know, but yeah. people will remember this. I used to when I first heard this. James Darren, this was the guy, and now he's doing standards. We'll get to it. Are you all right? I I'm know this guy. He's a personal friend of mine. I'm You're talking, talking to, to me the, like... No, I'm not speaking to you. I'm talking to the audience. All right. Well, Even let me though say, I love to talk with you. Well, I appreciate it. Just say this. James the Darren began his career as a teen idol in Philadelphia. His good looks made the girl swoon when he starred as a moon doggy in the movie Gidget in 59, which he became a part of Southern California's beach culture. Uh, he was signed by uh, Columbia Pictures uh, because he developed his acting chops under Stella Adler's training, top of the line woman, and became a popular leading man starring in plum roles in movies, the TV, science fiction. Multi talented James now performs with his band in Las Vegas and still is as handsome as ever. So go check him out. Hey, I'll tell you something. I was at a dinner party uh, with uh, uh, James Darren a couple of months ago that Larry Minetti had. Yep. And uh, he said to uh, the left man, this, this, uh, this guy is a uh, hot, I mean, you know, I'm straight. You know that, right? I hope so. Well, that's what I've always anyway, thought. Well, that's what the rumor is. Yes, this guy, this guy is as good looking as it gets. And you know him as an actor. Some of you know him as the actor singer. I know him as the director who directed me. Wow. He's a, a wonderful director, nice guy, handsome. I'm honored to have him on the show for the second time. And he is the only one that we've had for a second time, except for, have we ever had Minetti for? Yes, we've had Minetti. Well, well you never know with Minetti when you've had him for the first time. You never know. That's yeah. right, true. All right, so, you, hey, Jimmy, are you there? I'm here. How you doing? I'm doing great. This show has got five and a half million uh, listeners, James. Oh, my goodness. Un That's unreal. You know, I want you to plug whatever. I know it is. I want you to plug your albums. I want you to plug whatever you want. But first, this man's been waiting for you for quite a while. It's a whole different time uh, in where he is. And I'd like to introduce you uh, to John Le Jean Luke. Jean Luke, you wanted to speak to James Darren. Here's Mr. Darren. Go ahead, Jean Luke. Hello, hello, Mike. Hello, Robert. Hello, Mr. Darren. Hello, Jean Luke. How are you? Oh, I'm very fine. It's a huge honor to talk to you. I am one of your constant admirers as an actor and uh, as a singer. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you, you, you were great in uh, The Time Tunnel, uh, one of my favorite series. How did you get the part of uh, Dr. Tony Newman? Well, I was offered the part uh, by Irwin Allen, who was the creator and uh, executive producer of the show. And at first, I didn't want to do it, to be honest with you. And then I had a meeting with Irwin, and he, he was very convincing, so I did it. And, and oh, I'm happy I did, as a matter of fact. What, what kind of director was he since uh, he directed the first episode of the series? Uh, you know, he was, uh, he was more of a technical uh, kind of guy. He, he didn't work so much with the actors. But he was uh, more of a technician, but a, a wonderful, wonderful man. He was and, kind of the magic man of his time, doing a lot of different series. Either you kind of had the, him at the very beginning of his big career with all the stuff that he did. Yeah, absolutely. Voyage to the bottom very, of the sea and Lost in Space and all that. He was a, a bright man, and uh, and he was uh, he was a wonderful guy. Once you got to, to know Ir Irwin, and once you guys became friends, it was there's nothing he wouldn't have done for you. Anything else, John Luke? 
Yes, of course. Uh, Mr. Duran, you directed an episode of uh, The A-Team. How do you remember this and uh, what kind of problems uh, have you had to, to solve as a director? Uh, you, to, you mean when I did The A-Team? Yes. Uh, I, well, I, you're always having problems with time as a director because you're trying to get so many pages filmed in one day in so many hours and, and sometimes it's it's almost impossible, at least it looks impossible on paper. Uh, but when I did the A-Team, I had a great time. That was, that was not my first show. The first show I directed was T.J. Hooker, a series that I did with Heather Lockley and William Shatner. You and directed Adrian some Smith. of those? I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. How cool but, is but that? They, that? That was, was my, my, first my first time Very directing. good. And then, and then A-Team was my second, actually. That's good, and then the but, but it was great. They, they were, they, that's a, a wonderful cast in the A team, and hey. I must say they all were very professional. Hey, Jean Luc, because you're up late, and because you're an admirer, and because I know Jean Luc that you have your own radio show, and I know that these questions are going to be on your radio show. Oh, no, 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 oh no. yeah, we, oui, we, oui, Monsieur, go ahead, ask Mr. Darren another question, and then we have to say au revoir. Yeah, go. thank you very much. Uh, uh, you played the. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Duran, you played in uh, The Guns of Navarone. How was it to be with uh, such great actors and uh, in a movie in, uh, of uh, such a magnitude, magnitude? Well, I mean, it was an experience which I'll probably never duplicate uh, because they, they were great actors. I mean, Anthony Quinn, Gregory Peck, uh, Anthony Quayle, Stanley Baker, wow. uh, Rini Pappas. Uh, I mean, so many wonderful, wonderful uh, people. Um, David Niven. Uh, it, it was it was like uh, it was like a dream to be honest with you. That film took us seven months to shoot. Wow, seven months because they had a problem with the the actual uh, the physical guns. You know they they were huge, and the set had had broken, uh, so they had to uh, film a little slower. But I was on that show for seven months, and uh, Jay Lee Thompson, the director, was just incredible. I, I had a, I had a, a marvelous time. I wish I could. Duplicate just even part of that one, one more time. Hey, Jean-Luc, for a trivia for you, and then we're going to let you go. Do you, uh, would you like to know the actor that was first uh, uh, asked to do the, uh, the A-Team, uh, the lead role in the A-Team? Would you like to know who that was? Excuse me? Uh, would you like to know the actor that initially was offered the starring role in the A-Team? Yes, I would like it. It's me. Wow, I yes, guess no. and I recommended the man who ended up doing it. We had the same agent, and I called. Uh, uh, Don't yes, and I called uh, the producer, who's one of my closest friends, and said, "Give this guy a shot." He did, and uh, he ended up starring in it. And then, of course, James Darren ended up directing. Hey, Jean Luc, thank you for your time and your friendship. And I promise you, I will see you in April or May. Okay. All right, there he goes. Take care, Jean-Luc. All right, thanks for the call. We have James Darren here with us with Robert Conrad on the PM Show. Yeah, we got Barbara's been waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, are we on to take another call here, James? Sure. All thanks, right. thanks, James. We got Barbara who's uh, calling from Spokane. You're on with James Darren. Go ahead. Hello. Hi, Hi. what's your question you? for James Darren? Um, I have just had a quick one. You've been both a really great singing career and both a really great acting career. Which one do you like better and why? Ooh. Oh, I, I don't think I could make a, a choice. I don't think I could say I like one over the other um, because they both satisfy different needs that, that us performers have. Uh, singing to me is a lot, a lot more fun, of course, because I'm up there as the ham that I am on stage and having a good time. And acting is a, is a bit more of a challenge, I think. Hey, ham. That, I, I, I enjoy them both. Hey, ham that you am. Hang in there for a moment. We're going to commercial, Barbara. See, you wanted it, you got it. Thank you for listening, and I uh, hope you'll call next week, Barbara, from Spokane. All right, and straight ahead, we'll continue on the PM Show Weekend Edition with Robert Conrad and James Darren. Stay with us on CRN. Yeah. Mm -hmm.